The Hide My Email feature was introduced in iOS 15, allowing you to assign random generated email addresses that automatically forward any communication to your real account. We use our email addresses for so many things, so you'll want to make sure that you're implementing the best practices when it comes to security. Hi, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started. Hide My Email is easy to set up, and you can use it on your iPhone or iPad instead of your actual email address. There are two catches. You need to have an iPhone that supports iOS 15, and you have to be a paid subscriber to iCloud Plus, which starts at $1 a month and gives you 50 gigabits of storage. To create and set up a Hide My Email address, you'll come into the Settings app, You'll select your name at the top. You'll choose iCloud. And now you'll select Hide My Email. Once inside the settings area here, you will tap on Create New Email Address. When you do, you will see that Apple has generated a random address. If you don't like it, you can click on Use Different Address and bring up another one. You can label your address so that you know why you're using this particular email address. So I'm going to go ahead and put in newsletters so that I know when I sign up for any newsletters, I'm going to use this email address instead of my real email address. I'm going to go ahead and tap on next. And now you'll see that it's been created and all I need to do is tap done. When I tap done, you'll see that that email address now appears under the hide my email addresses. And so whenever I sign up for a newsletter, instead of using my real email address, I'll use this email address and all of that, all of the emails that come to that address will be forwarded to my real email address. If you decide that you want to forward to a different email address, if you scroll to the bottom of this page, you'll see where it says forward to. Select that. And when you come into this area, you'll see all of the email addresses that are associated with your Apple ID. And you can choose one of those email addresses. If you would like to add more email addresses there, you'll go ahead and you'll select reachable at, and that will bring you in to the names and phone numbers that are attached to your Apple ID, and you can tap on edit, and then add an email or phone number that you'd like to use and be able to forward those emails to. You can use this feature directly inside the Mail app. So if I open the Mail app and I select to send a new email in the upper right corner, now if I choose the From field or CCBCC field, if I select that, and now I select the From field, you'll see that an option appears to hide my email. I'll go ahead and choose that. I'll come back up to the To field, and as soon as I begin to type in a name, you'll see that a random email address is generated. And once I type the email and hit Send, any email that I send to that particular person will use this particular email address hiding my real address. If at any time you want to deactivate one of these email addresses, so if for some reason you no longer want to receive an email from a newsletter or an organization, it's very easy to do that. So you'll come back into the settings area, you'll come back up to your name, 
you'll select iCloud, you'll select hide my email, you'll locate the email that you want to deactivate and at this point you can go ahead and select deactivate email address, confirm the deactivation and now you will not receive any emails from that individual or that organization. Now, maybe at some point you're like, oh, I made a mistake and I, I don't want to do that. Well, you can come back down to where it says inactive addresses, tap on that, select the address that you want to activate, and then go ahead and reactivate that address. Or maybe you want to delete that address permanently. Go ahead and select delete address, tap delete to confirm, and now you will no longer receive any emails coming to that fake email address. Don't let this long-winded explanation keep you from using hide my email. It takes much longer to explain than set up. This is because you have so many options. Once you have it set up, you'll use it with ease. If you have any questions, post them in the comments section and I'll answer them as quickly as I can. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.